guys, what's up? I hope everyone is well. And in this one, we're gonna take a look at uh, a few pieces around Valet. So we're gonna look at Valet 3, how to update to that. Version 3.16 uh, is out as of this video. Uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the commands and how to kind of get a little bit more familiar with Valet and how to isolate uh, different types of uh, projects, whether it's Laravel 8 project with a PHP version of like 7.4 or Laravel 6 project with a PHP version of 8 or whatever. So we're gonna take a look at some of those features. So we're just gonna open up Terminal. I'm just gonna open up a browser here. And we're just gonna jump over to the Git repo. So over here, we see in the last 21 days, it's been a little bit of work here. And over the last four months, they've done some support for like Ngrok and uh, ARM chipset, so Apple Silicon and a few other things. Uh, we'll get into that as well. And they've done some updates around, um, you know, that isolate and a few other commands that they have. So uh, this is the repo if you want to check it out. It's just github.com slash Laravel Valet. And, uh, you know, there's a pretty straightforward readme. Or you can jump to laravel.com and check out some of the documentations uh, there. So we're done with this. We'll close this up. So on the channel, there's also another video of how to install Valet for the Mac. So check that out. So if you don't have Valet installed, uh, if you do have Valet installed, if you run the command Valet, you'll be able to see that you will have these set of commands pop up and that will kind of like just, you know, let you know that you have it installed correctly and things are working. So if you want to check if you're on the uh, latest version of Valet, you can type in the command on latest and you can just say version. And if you are in the latest version, it will tell you the latest version as of that repo was 3.16. If you're not on the latest version, uh, you have to do what's called a global install. So if you were following the video on the channel, you'll be able to do a global install and it will up, get you up to date uh, with the latest version. And that command is pretty straightforward. It's gonna be composer, uh, you got the global, and you're gonna require. And what you're gonna require is Laravel Valet. And in this particular instance, we wanna take a version that is uh, greater than version three. So that's the command that will get you up to date. So if you're on composer global require Laravel slash valet and you constrain it to around version 3.0 or higher, this will get you up to date. So I'm not gonna actually run this command because as you can see, you know, valley on latest version, I'm already there. So I will remove this. And when you're running this command, it'll take a few moments. So be patient and we'll get everything up to date. Um, you might have to run a valet install after the fact and perhaps you might have to do a, a valet restart and that will just restart the DNS mask and get everything going and you know restart all your versions of PHP. So depending what versions you have installed and what you have going on, this may be slightly different from what I have versus what you guys have. Uh, another command we're gonna look at is TLD. So if you were to type in valet TLD, it'll show you what the top level domain is for what you chose for reaching out to your um, your sites. So in this case, I chose mine to be code. I think the default is like test or something like that. So um, that's that command. So we're just kind of pegging these commands off in no particular order, okay? So if you were to do valet stop, that would obviously stop the service, shut it down. And then once all the services are stopped, you can type in valet start and that will start them back up. And we'll just do a little clear here, just kind of get back on top of everything here. We'll do Valet again. So another one we can check out is Valet Trust. And if you were to type in Valet Trust, so sometimes when you have commands that you're running, if you trust Valet to do that on your own without actually checking for a password, it'll just like do that without validating that it needs a secondary password to, um, you know, validate the step that you're trying to do. So if you do that, you can just type in Valet Trust and you will see that the entries have been added to Brew and Valet. So if there's any um, requirements for Brew to do something on behalf of Valet, um, this trust certificate will come into place and you'll basically be able to do that without punching in your password or adding uh, credentials. And that's it for this one, guys. I will see you later. Take care. So don't forget to like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts below. Hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care until next time.